Hey guys, this is Alex Millions. Um, as you can see, I have my, my friend Justin here again today. And I want to talk to you about lining up and getting a sharp line. And uh, we're going to start off by lining him up. You see, for the most part, he has a, a wide front, a wide front forehead. But it's easy to catch his line without taking it back. So we're just going to go ahead now and outline it and get it ready. It's a basic outline. I told you before, the key to getting a sharp line is not so much having a sharp sharp uh, trimmer, but having a, a well-adjusted trimmer. Making sure that your, your trimmer is well-adjusted, and then making sure that the hair or the scalp is clean and dry. If your hair or scalp is, is um, oily, greasy, or dirty, you're not going to be able to get a nice, clean, sharp line going to be hard to get one. So you, you must work on making sure your client has a clean, dry hairline when you line them up. The cleaner the hairline, the drier the hairline, the easier it is for you to get a sharp, crisp line. As you can see, this is just, so far we just lined them up real quick. And that's just the outline. I don't want to go too deep. I don't want to. I don't want to keep going back and forth on it. I don't want to take the line back. All I want to do is just make sure that line is basic, basically there. Okay. Now that I have the line in, I want to go ahead. Got something called diamond cut, razor cutting lotion. This is awesome. All you do is spray a little bit of this on on the forehead, the area that you want to you want to shave or. or that you want to line up. It's a clear lubricant. It doesn't soap up. And as you can see, I got my Tendio straight razor holder. I'm just going to go ahead now. I'm not going to dig, I'm not, not going to keep going back and forth in one space. I don't want to I don't want to irritate the skin. You don't want to dig too deep. If you dig too deep, you're going to cause him to break out. All I want to do now is clean this up. Make sure it's nice and clean. Make sure it's nice and tight. And right here he has a a little V that comes down and it grows out, so I want to take a little extra extra attention right here. But this straight razor holder is awesome. You need to have it. You need to put it in your your arsenal. It's a, it has a whole lot more weight to it. This side here is a little bit dry on this side, so I just put a little bit on there. All you want to do is just lubricate a little bit. And you just come in. All you want to do. Okay. Once you have that in. Go ahead, you want to wipe it down again. We want to head down this way. Okay. Now you want to come back with your razor. And you want to come down on it. So you're going to clean your corners up. All the way across. Same thing on this side. Now, once you have that in, I'm going to brush that line down again toward you. 
You must remember that you got hairs growing, coming down. So you want to catch all the hairs that are coming off of the hairline. Just touch it. You want to touch it. Real light. Get your corner. Make sure your corner is nice and tight. Look how clean that line is. I'm not digging, I'm not I'm not digging in, in his line, I'm not irritating his line, I'm only touching it a little bit lightly. All this digging we do and back and forth, it only all it does is just irritate the skin. Okay. Finish. Make sure you put some good cool finish on them. This just goes over the entire scalp. It's good for the scalp. It's good for bumps. So make sure that your customer gets a full. It burned a little bit, but it worked. <laughs> back of his neck, keep him from breaking out in the back of his neck. That line. No, there's no black ice, no Beijing. This is nothing but hair. All hair.